Hi all, welcome to Simple Engineering, Engineering Simplified. I am Neetu Rahul. Today we are going to solve a problem on signal flow graph. Let's move to the video. So, in this problem, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 nodes are there in a straight line path. Then 1, 2, 2 other nodes. So, 6 plus 2, 8 nodes are there totally. You have G1 of us, G2 of us, G3 of us, G4 of us, G5 of us, G6 is between these two nodes. Then G7 and G8. R of S is the input. C of S is the output. And you have feedback. That is here uh, H2 of S is there. And here H4 of S is there. H1 of S. And here you have. So let's solve this one. How we can find the solution. And uh, C of S by R of S that is output by input your transfer function how we can find this. So first when we analyze this problem we have different nodes I can mark it as 1 this is second node third node fourth fifth sixth seven and eight. So total these nodes are there. Next First step is you have to find the forward path. So, forward path is marked as P1. So, forward path P1 is equal to, here this is the first forward path. You have G1 of S, G2 of S, G3 of S, G4 of S and G5 of S. So, P1 is equal to G1 of S, G2 of S. G3 of S, G4 of S and G5 of S. Next is you have to find the closed loop. So here you have one closed loop here, second closed loop is here and third closed loop is here. So we have to find the closed loop. So closed loop Closed loop that is closed loop gains that is marked as first one we have this is your loop G2 of S into H1 of S. So G2 of S into H1 of S. Second loop is this one that is G4 of S into H2 of S. So second loop is G4 of S into H2 of S. Third loop is this one that is G7 of S into H4 of S. So these are the closed loop gains over here. Next you have a bigger loop that is from 2 you are starting 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6. Again it is coming back to this 2. So that is your fourth one closed loop gain which is G2 of S, G3 of S, G4 of S, G5 of S. From here it is coming through G6 of S, then G7 of S and G8 of S. So that is your fourth closed loop. Next you have to find the non-touching loops. Non-touching loops. So we have 1, 2 and 3 and the entire this one is your fourth loop. So in this four loops which one is non-touching loops. So first one you can take this loop. This loop and this loop is not touching because there is no common nodes. So you can write it as the fifth pair which is equal to G2 of S H1 of S into G4 
G4 of S, H2 of S. This is the one pair of two non-touching loops. This is two non-touching loops. Then another pair that is which is equal to you can take this loop and this loop that is also not sharing any common nodes. So which is equal to G4 of S into H2 of S and G7 of S into H4 of S. So this is the two non-touching loop. Then again you check any other pairs are there. This pair and this pair that both are two non-touching loops because they are not having any common nodes. So seventh one you can write it as G2 of S into H1 of S into G7 of S into H4 of S. So these are the two non-touching loops. Next you check for three non-touching loops. Three non-touching loops. That three loops which are non-touching. That you can see that here first pair, first loop. The second loop and third loop. These threes are not touching any other loop. So you can write it as 8 is equal to G2 of S H1 of S into G4 of S H2 of S into G7 of S H4 of S. So these are the things which you have to take care while solving the signal flow graph. So first one will be the forward path you have to find how many forward path are there in the loop so first one will be the forward path then how many loops are there that you have to find out then two non-touching loop pairs then three non-touching loop pairs like that you have to find out and analyze this so this part is over next we have to find out what is delta delta is equal to we have to find delta is equal to 1 minus sum of the closed loop gains we have four closed loop gains that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus here two non-touching loops that is 5 plus 6 plus 7 minus 3 non-touching loops that is only we have 1 which is 8. So this is delta and you have to find delta 1. C of S by R of S will be equal to P1 delta 1 by delta where P1 is the forward path gain. Delta 1 is the gain which we found out from this one delta 1 and delta is the this value so here we have p1 is equal to g1 of s g2 of s g3 of s g4 of s g5 of s into your delta 1 is 1 minus g7 of s into h4 of s the whole divided by delta this will be the transfer function for the signal flow graph so delta also we can find out that delta is equal to y 1 minus your first loop gain that is g2 of s into h of s plus g4 of s into h2 of s plus g7 of s into h4 of s plus G2 of S, G3 of S, G4 of S, G5 of S, G6 of S, G7 of S, G8 of S. So that will be this term plus your two non-touching loops 5, 6, 7 you have to substitute these values minus your three non-touching loops you have to substitute these values. So you will get the delta over here. So hope this is clear for everyone. Uh, if you find this useful, please share it with others and please subscribe the channel. Thank you.